So a lot of you guys have questions about what each horse is. Nice run, Alan, Alan Taylor. As always, makes an incredible entrance. First in a bar at the age of 13. Then she broke her neck. She overcame all that. Alan's now world champ. Yeah. World champion. Congratulations. She knew that she could do whatever she set her mind to. What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to my channel. We are back with another vlog. First of all, I'd like to say a huge thank you. I got this in my fan mail today. This is a huge gift. The hay ring cover. I'm so excited to put out in the in the pasture for the young horses. So thank you so much for my hay ring cover. You're gonna see it in upcoming vlogs. So I'm really, really excited. Also, we had a new Great Pyrenees show up today. We also have a half coyote that we call Waze that shows up. We're basically a dog sanctuary. So I don't know, that's what's going on in our day. We're gonna get to a lot of your questions and don't mind my allergies. There's white fuzzies all in the air. So your girl is struggling. But we wanted to talk about the fact that the stay home order has been lifted. It is gone and what our plans are for the future now that that has happened. So let's get started. This is our new dog. Him's name is Chester because that's what I'm calling him. <laughs> this is not snow. This is a This boy. is a new one. Yeah. This is just a random boy dog. Very happy boy dog. Welcome to the family. I guess. <laughs> Until you go back to wherever your home is. I named it Chester. Um, the warehouse named it Tiny. And I named him Yeti. And then Julia Banana? Julia named him something like Silver Banana or something very strange. What'd you name it? Yeti. Oh. You know, like the snow <laughs> it's Yeti. It's obviously okay. a Chester. <laughs> are you? What are you? What are you? Look at that fluffy face. That's a nice dog. It's a lot of drool. Okay. Yeah. Okay, bye, Chester. Okay, bye, buddy. Update on Chiquita, she keeps bringing us dead rats. And then rolling on them, and why why that's a thing for dogs, we'll never understand. I mean, I guess we wear leather jackets, so that's kind of like rolling around on a carcass, isn't it? Ew. Ew, like I if you think know, about it. She, it doesn't matter if she kills it or not, she will roll around on dead stuff all day. And then I she mean, climbs in my weird. bed, all right. <laughs> okay, so we wanted to take you out in the pasture a lot of brand new Flomies are subscribed to the channel and I get this question all the time and I feel like we take you guys on a pasture tour or a full tour all the time, but there's so many Flomies. Thank you so much for subscribing. So a lot of you guys have questions about what each horse is and so we're out here in the beautiful pasture. Look at that, like look at that. Is that not picturesque? It's like a little, it's a little barrel racer postcard. And my allergies hate me because of those beautiful little flowers. So we're gonna give you guys a tour of each foal as we go around the pasture. Um, but here are two right here. And listen, we have these little protein tubs in the pasture and they're covered in disgusting stuff, but they're out here to be horses. They're broke to ride, um, the majority of them, but we let them grow up and be one with each other out here so they can learn how to be horses and relax and chill. And so that's why they're out here in the pasture and we just let them get dirty. Um, they get trimmed and stuff, but they, we're not worried about baths or manes or any of that stuff. They're just out here to be animals. So here is Cash Money right here. He is incredibly dirty. He has bitten flies with his protein mouth everywhere. I would say he's the most chill of all the two year olds. Um, he just has a super laid back personality. Baby flow babies lay down a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So he's no exception. He lays down a lot. It just drools. Ew. From his Bro. His, his name's cash money, but it's also flow money. It is flow money. You're right. It is flow money. But we were calling him cash money for forever, but it's actually, it's actually flow, flow money. money. Yeah. It's flow money and I need Benadryl. And so Sorry. that's why my brain is stupid. And next we have Flow Body. And Flow Body is, we call him Flow Body Nose because Flow Body Nose. But we did figure this out. His dam and sire are, do you remember? Flow, no. Knack, and. Let me see. Flow Body, who are you? They're so cool. Flow Body. He is knick-knack and oozy. Oh yeah, yeah. And here 
is his adorable little baby picture. He is a knickknack, oozy baby, and he's a giant compared to the other babies. And I've already ridden this guy, and he is simply incredible. And then, so, so this one and this one are half brothers with the same dad, different mom. Yes, look nothing alike. Baby Flo and Filthy Fast and French. Knickknack, Filthy, filthy fast, fast and French. Those two. So coming toward us is Knock. And that's just the horse that's here in case somebody needs to ride a horse that doesn't normally ride a horse, but she is really, really nice. So she's a great teacher and has a few gears so that you can start to really learn on. And so we needed one of those around here. And here she is. And she cute. Okay, that's Knock. <laughs> That is Chuck Norris's mom, who is about to be a mom again. She's 1,000 years old, so this may be the last foal. She's not due until mid to late June, I think. So, but she's bred to bet he's a cat. Um, we wanted to breed to something really tiny because we only get foals that are like massively giant Clydesdales, and that's not really our vibe here. We like little um, rocket ships, little mopeds with Ferrari engines. So, of course, does this happen every time? Like when you go out to the pasture that your horses are like at the farthest corner they could possibly be in? That's what happened to us. Oh, over here are our fraternity colts, BFA world champion, Junie. Hi, Junie. I can't even see them over there. <laughs> we'll go over there. She's like 29 inches tall. She's, she's coming here. Hi, Dora. Your dad says hi. Let me video this for Alex. He'll be very excited at work. Okay. Junie, Tamir, your daddy says hi. Tamir, girl. Junis. Come here. Tamir, girl, girl. Your dad says hello. Hi, girl. That's a nice girl. Yeah, that's very tuned. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One more. Hang on. One more. Come here. <laughs> that's a new trick. Yeah. Girl. One more. One more. Do it, girl. Do it, sweet girl. Okay, so. We'll try to go bit by bit, but right here we have mom and daughter. So this is Chuckarita. So she is a barrel horse, young, but she is bred to Shawnee Buglio, I believe. This is her foal from last year, which is we call Slickarita. Um, it is Chuckarita and Slick by Design. This is a yearling and super, super cute. This baby was so spicy as a baby, um, but now is like a lover. So. Here is Pearl Snap. We'll show you another mom and daughter. Pearl Snap is very heavy and full. Very heavy and full. And that is her daughter right behind you. And that, we have not named that Legally baby yet. Legally Blondie. Legally Blondie, yes. Actually, her papers are back. And she is Shawnee Bug Leo Pearl Snap. She's in full with Mojo's half sibling right now. This is Nephi Shawnee Bug Leo. Hi, boy. Very cute. And that is a pony named Bath Salts. Dun dun dun. And a and there's Junie again. And Junie again. So this is Ginger Man. Ginger Man is by a mare named Harley's Chick and something else that we bred to. Harley's Chick was bred to Harley's, Harley's Chick, Chick is a dash to fame. And mare. filthy fast in French. There it is. So siblings to Flow Body and Flow Money. Harley Chick is a Dash to Fame mare um, and Filthy Fast and French. He's a PC Frenchman type moment and Junie is trying to kill your dog. Oh no. Just, like clear her from the area. She just dug her out from underneath the fence while we were filming, but I didn't want to interrupt and like now she's after Annie. That's quite hilarious. She doesn't go fast though. No, she's slowly patrolling. 
They see me rolling. She's the Paul Blart of the pasture. <laughs> Just segwayed it up. Like, sir, sir, excuse me, sir. If you, you get, wait, here. if you get another mini boy donkey, it has to be Paul Blart. Yes. <laughs> Man, don't tell Alex. He's going to get one I tomorrow. know. He'll get one tomorrow. He's been trying to buy a zebra. Okay. This. No. This is King Tut. That's King Tut. Looks exactly like Nephi. Cause exactly it is like Nephi. It's Nephi and Uzi. And so look at the shoulder on this thing. I mean, if you know Nephi, this is her. Like, this is totally her. Hey. Excuse me. We called this Colt Spicy because we had his papers mixed up. Because AQHA is super no, fun. I thought we had a Spicy. This was Spicy and he's actually King Tut. Oh, okay. That's what happened. Thanks, AQHA. But something to mention is when everyone was trying to name that Nephi baby, which still we don't have, we haven't decided anything yet. Right. Everyone was saying King Tut. But, but they didn't we, know we already had one. Yeah. But the AQHA is like 18 months behind before a global pandemic. So King Tut. it's not that we didn't have our ducks in a row. It's that we had our ducks in a row and they didn't have no place to go. So this is another Nephi baby. <laughs> Bless you. This is Nephi Uzi. And that's Nephi Uzi. These are full brothers. They look nothing alike. Fun fact, when you breed a Palomino to a Sorrel, you always have a 50-50 chance at Palomino or Sorrel. So you know what you're gonna get. And this is a little brown nose protein lick bucket boy. Very cute. His name is Pharaoh. So now we have Pharaoh and King Tut. Um, but these guys are doing so well and they look so beautiful out here. The pasture is crazy because everything's Sorrel and everything's Palomino. So when you look from down like by the warehouse or by baby flo's barn it looks pretty wild out here what's crazy is that we've started breeding to a gray stallion and a roan stallion for next year we already have two identical roans so everything is sorrel palomino and bay roan which is just wild and people already have like a complete come apart because they think every horse is baby flo because baby flo runs and looks like lolo runs and looks like Nephi, like looks like Flobot, ev all of them. And now we have Dupe, which actually is baby Flo. I could run her at a barrel race under her registered name. Imagine, can we imagine that? Like imagine they go, sorry, you have to run your horses under their registered name. Cody, have you <laughs> thought of this? Baby space be Flo. But then you would run a real baby Flo as Flo's Eris. Flo's Eris. And then they'd be like, oh, well that one's the baby Flo. But what if I don't run Baby Flow that day? Yeah. Well, you better win. You, you know what I'll do? Name. You know what I'll do? Is bring copies of her papers. Yeah. To entry. Mm -hmm. And be like, here you go. They'll be like, well. And then people will do the whole like, Baby Flow's clocking in the bottom of the 2D. Her career is over forever. And you're like, that was my kill pin pony. And you're welcome. Because... Baby flow, dupe, clocking in the bottom of the 2D at a big race. Ooh, be I'll be so excited. That'd be the coolest thing ever. I think she's gonna do it. What do you guys think? How far do you think she'll go? Tell me in the comments, cause I wanna know. This is a two baby. That is my best friend. That is Sunday brunch. This is dupe. This is baby flow. Oakley, Chuck Norris, training horses. Okay. This gorgeous bay thing is Hush Money. That gorgeous Sarl boy is the world famous Flowbot. Okay, there's more. Right there. Okay, there's let's like go. Two. Okay, there's more, there's more, there's more. Nephi. Florari, wait, Nick Knack. And Lolo. There's nice. more. I don't we're know where they are. Missing a mojo boy and uh maybe in the barn. Let's go or check. Or in the arena. The reason is, listen, it's not like we don't know where our horses are. It's that they rotate all day long Dude, to a different place. Run. Yeah, it's like they're getting rotated and we're working on vlogs and such. We are working on entering John at rodeos, fraternity or not rodeos, but fraternities and slot races. We're working on entering ourselves and that brings me to the next subject that the stay at home order has been lifted. Word to the wise, we are not gonna go literally anywhere crazy because we wanna stay healthy. We wanna know in two weeks what's gonna happen. 
We have this adorable little baby, Harlow. My dad is 80 years old. We want to keep everybody as safe as possible. So go party if you want to. We're going to go to a barrel race where, you know, we're not mad that people got to stay six feet away because not everybody's super friendly. We try to anyway because yeah. horses kick each other. And yeah, we don't want horses nose to nose. You don't want people touching people and cash money, millionaires and all sorts of stuff. Like you don't need to be all up in that. So you're not going to find us at any crazy places. However, we are going to experiment with going to some jackpots. They are socially distanced and they only run 10 per hour. So each rig has to actually go in and go out. So you guys stay safe because our first responders are out in these streets trying to keep us really, really safe. Okay, so the horses that are in here, Flowbot, Julia's on Florari. Behind me is Buckstitch. Down there is Flowhawk. In the other corner is Mojo. The reason is the horses are just in here to observe. Um, kind of like when you see Brad Bevel tie the dogs up um, alongside the fence and he has like construction workers come in and he has like people come in and do things. It's basically so that these horses don't get distracted by other horses running. If you've ever been on a just distracted horse while people run by you and see them do really crazy things, this is to desensitize that and just to basically help them grow up and be responsible for being inside an enclosed space. There's noise in here. It's kind of loud ricocheting off the walls. Um, I don't know. It's a cool space. And so this very much looks like a rodeo arena. So these guys are behind us to learn patience and to pay attention and not be distracted and all sorts of good fun stuff can be learned in here. Plus they're in the shade and it's just a good spot for them to relax and chill and watch their homies do big things. So it's another step in the rotation process. I'm yeah, they go the pin. inside the pins, walker here, ridden stalls. So they're active during the day. Very, very active. They have a lot of activities to do and we just always want them to be super fulfilled. So they're very, very, very happy horses here. Chicken nuggets come from McDonald's. We have children show up here too. This one is all the way from Brazil. This one, I believe, is an American child <laughs> of American descent. Raylan, come here. We, I like these questions. I have a question for you. <laughs> this one we found in an alfalfa patch. Hey, <laughs> where does meat come from? A store. The, the store. store. And where do chicken nuggets come from? McDonald's. Where do fish sticks come from? Do you eat fish sticks? Why? I just don't like them. You don't like them? And what about the fishy swimming in the ocean? I had it before. She had She had it before. Fishy swimming in the ocean? No longer. Okay. I ate fish before. You did? Okay. So apparently what she said was she doesn't want to eat fish anymore because she wants all the fishies to swim in the ocean. So, but do you know what bacon is? Do you know what bacon is? Do you know what bacon is? What is it? Food. It's food. Where yes, did, it is. But where does bacon come from? <laughs> the store. The store. She's right every time. She's right every time. And if she figures out something different, then those answers are not the same. She may make lifestyle changes <laughs> based on her love for all things pig and cow and chicken. So, did you get a hold of our new dog? What's his name? Well, we named her Snow Angel. Snow Angel. Snow Angel. I have a problem though. I like Raymond. That's her name. I like Raymond. Raymond. Chester. I need that Chester. Is a, Chester. That is a boy. I like Chester. Yeah. We checked, and that dog's a boy. So like, Can angels be boys? So, like, for real, whose dog is that? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Whose child well, is that? He, well, he's, a, he's our neighbor. Oh. Really? Which neighbor? Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. we are, like, 20 acres apart here. Uh, hmm. Crazy. I think he was from the neighbors over there. Over there. Okay. Next to the ranch. Where do you work? At the ranch. What's your main job? Where do you come from? Why are you here today? Who are you? I come here every day. Do you? <laughs> and but why? Why do you come here every day? Because because the virus. Because of <laughs> I 
virus. <laughs> the virus. Oh, cause of the virus. She said global pandemic. I came to the safe spot. <laughs> I appreciate that. She's not wrong. <laughs> she's not wrong. She, we have found this random child and she's come here. <laughs> to shelter from a global to pandemic. <laughs> this is the safe spot for everybody. That's why dogs show up. That's why horses show up. So in 2008, when the economy like crash. I want you to come here for safety. Thank you. <laughs> It is a safe yes. place and everybody's really nice and there's a restaurant and we have lots of bacon that comes from the store and toilet paper. And toilet paper. We do have it. Never hoarded it. And You're welcome. Food. We do have food. I thought bacon was food. It is too. Okay. It is too. Okay. Good news. So yeah, lots of fun stuff at the ranch today. Um, we're gonna uh, water's healthy. Waters are so healthy. healthy. Food is healthy. And after food, snacks. Kind of. And <laughs> snacks, kind of. Hey, snacks, kind of. Hey, you're right. <coughs> Why do we work hard? Come here. Because you want to have the money. Yeah, but come here. Why do we help people work hard? So they can make it faster. Yeah, and because of what? So you can make the money. Yeah, and what else? Why do you want money? So you can make it faster. Make what faster? The, the job when you let y'all work. That's teamwork. You're talking about teamwork, but why do we want money? So you, so you can buy stuff. And food, buy and snacks. bacon, and snacks. But what else, sort of. hey, but what else do you want to buy? What kind of car do you want? Shiny one. A shiny one. <laughs> So we're learning about teamwork and what it takes to buy a rose gold Tesla. And I told her teamwork. And then she has realized that water is what? Healthy. Very healthy. Very healthy. Healthy with an F. Healthy. Healthy. Very healthy. It's very good. It's healthier. It's healthier. It's healthier in chocolate. It is healthier than chocolate. Yes. Does it taste better? Water. Water. And that's a nutritional tip from little alfalfa girl. <laughs> Random girl that showed up today. Random girl that showed up today. Maybe we'll invite our other. Yeah. yeah. She is five. She's yeah. I figure out everything. Yeah. She has figured out everything. Yes. Because she is brilliant. And I figured out God knows everyone. He does. He does know everyone. What else? And he loves everyone. He does. And what else? Does he even love you when you're bad? Santa too. He doesn't care whatever. He doesn't? What does your shirt say? What's your shirt say? Works for merch. I can't read. <laughs> Would you like me to read it to you? Yes. Hey, can you say, killed her, husband, whacked him. Dang it. Her shirt says, hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> I'm Carol Baskin. I love it. Where'd you get that shirt? My, my mom made it. Yeah. <laughs> she said. That wasn't the right answer. Phillies? <laughs> New vlog intro. Hey, all you cool colts and fillies. That's tough to say. It is. Hey, all you sassy stallions and fillies. <laughs> what we need to do is we need to get Miss P together with, with Ray Lynn, Lynn. Oh, and then have just, yeah. just interview all the animals. Yeah. Would you like that? All the horses here are wild. No, no they they're are. not. Well, that's what we told her. No, yes, okay. Well, Julia oh, told me that. Yeah, they are all they're wild. They're wild. That's so we don't get anybody hurt. They're wild. I heard that. She heard that. <laughs> Well, it's the truth. We don't want anyone getting hurt. They are crazy. Kind of. That's why we stay in a safety place. In the, the safety yes. place. Away from the wild horses. Correct. High five me, alfalfa girl. <laughs> Woo! And those are nice nails. <laughs> Let me see. Five, but make it fashion. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Quarantine be like press on. <laughs> That's nice. Quarantine fashion. <laughs> <laughs> she said, not gonna deny me no press on. No. Oh, I also know something else about God. Okay. 
God knows everyone in his whole heart. Yes, he does. And he loves everybody. Yeah. In his whole heart. Even Carol Baskin. <laughs> it's, it's truth. Guys, that's it for today. I'm going to quit messing with, hey, I'm allergic to that too. I don't know why I'm putting my hands all on it. I'm going to get out of here. That's it for today. If you're not already subscribed, what? And God loves every animal and everyone else. Even these dogs that show up? Yes. That's awesome. But he, he's trying to get used to this dog, but he likes it. Okay. And you he heard loves it here. The dog. You heard it here first. God loves this dog. <laughs> if you're not already subscribed, make sure to be subscribed. Ding that notification bell. If you guys have not gotten your merch already, like Miss Alfalfa Girl has, make sure to get it at ranchdressing.com. You can use code Fallon at checkout for a discount. That's it for today, you guys. And like I always say, don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time. Yeah.